Hi everyone, my name is Jessica and today I am going to talk about my remote dog training collar. Now it comes with everything you need. It comes with the user manual and there's a quick user card which makes everything simple right on one page. This is the collar itself. This is a reflective material to keep your dog safe at night. This is the remote. This is the receiver. And this is to put around your wrist if you want to attach the remote to this when you're outside so it doesn't fall. This is the Allen wrench, which you're going to use to help you put it all together. This is the charging cable, which works for both the remote and the receiver. This is the other part of the buckle, and this goes on your collar to tighten it or loosen it. This is the tester, and these uh, are two different sizes, so they are both for long hair or short hair dogs. Depending on the length of the hair, they have different sizes you can use. And these are the covers that go over those parts. And now I'm going to show you how to put it all together. So this is the outside of the strap and this is the inside. I'm going to put my receiver on So you want to make sure that this part is on the inside of your collar. Next is this part. So you could adjust the length of the collar. And next is the other part of the buckle. All right, now if this is too much strap for your dog, you can cut this off or you can adjust it by sticking it through here, like so. And before you turn it on, you want to measure your dog's neck to make sure that this part goes on the middle part of their neck like this. So once you have that on the place where you want it, we are going to screw on these parts. All right, and once you have these on, you are going to screw on, or just put on the little black rubber parts. And so you can use these on your dog to train them. If they're doing things that are naughty, like jumping up on people or barking when they're outside, uh, this will help to train them to stop that behavior. Now it comes with the Allen wrench. So once you've measured your dog, you can use this to uh, make sure it's in the right place. And then you are going to screw this into place like this. And you wanna keep doing this until it gets tight. And you wanna make sure it's nice and tight so this receiver part isn't moving around all the way around your dog's neck. You want it to be nice and tight so it's in the right spot to receive the shock or the vibration or the beeping sound. All right, so now look at that. It's nice and tight and it's not moving around. And this part here is where you wanna put in your charger when you need to charge it and it comes with the tester. And so once I've got this all set up, I'm going to uh, test use the tester to try that out. 
And now I've got my remote. So now I'm going to turn on my receiver by doing a long press with this button on top right there. And it's on because you heard the beep and the green light. For my remote, I'm going to long press the button on the side. Okay, so now it's on. It's zero, which means it can go from zero to 16 for the shocking. And this button on the side changes that all the way from zero to 16. And then it goes all the way down back to one and a zero. And there's no different uh, settings for the beeping or the vibration. It's only the shocking that can go from zero to 16. Now I am going to use the tester to test out the shocking. So it's on zero right now. And if I click the orange button, it's nothing because it's on zero. Now I'm going to go all the way up to 16, which is the highest mode. And I'm going to click the orange button to test the tester. Oh, look, it's orange. So that means it is working. All right. Now besides shocking, you can also do a beeping or you can do a vibration. Look at that, it's vibrating. So there's no different modes for the vibration or the beep, it's just the one setting. So this side button for the different numbers is only for the shocker. This is beeping and that's the vibration. And the orange is the shocker. All right, so I've got it set up on channel one right now. So to change the channel, on my receiver, first I'm going to long press this button and I'm going to hold it until the green and the red are flashing. And now I'm going to change this to channel two and I'm going to long press the V button. And I heard the beeping here and I see the two flashing. So this is connected to channel two now. Another thing you can do with the V button is you can do a short press on it and it will do a flashing light on the receiver. So this will put a little light on your dog's collar so you can help find him in the dark. Okay, this is also waterproof, you guys. So if your dog is out in the rain or if he's jumping in a, a pool or a lake, this is not going to get damaged. This is going to stay intact. It also has a lock button on the side right here. So you can turn that on so that way nothing gets accidentally pressed here. So you don't accidentally press your dog or shock your dog because the lock function is on right now. This is great for dogs to help train them so they can get rid of their bad behaviors of jumping on people, uh, barking, being aggressive, things like that. And you're gonna have a well-behaved little poochie. So this is really nice and it's really easy to use. The buckle just goes like that. So this can be used on all different sizes of dogs. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.